A few months ago I picked this battery up before it went off to the lead processing plant, and judging by how new it is, it's only from 2011, and it was made by a local battery company, and it looks very clean, I have reason to believe that it's never been used. It was just sitting on the shelf until it went bad. Not counting, it's a deep cycle battery, so there's a very good chance that we could revive this and get at least a quarter of its original capacity. Now, it was only sitting at 8 volts. I don't know what it is at now, but it's definitely not charged up. So, let's take a look at inside the cells, make sure there's electrolyte inside there. We can see there's reflections on the liquid inside of each cell. If there wasn't, I would fill it up with regular tap water. Now let's check the voltage. Eight and a third volts. That's pretty low. If this was a regular starting battery, which had thin plates, I would consider this dead right on the spot. But since this is a deep cycle battery, it's a lot better chance of reviving it. So now let's connect it up to my universal power supply and charge it up to 13 volts. Okay, so let's bring this down so it's at zero volts when we connect it up. So it's only detecting 6 volts inside of there. Now, whenever I turn it up to 13 volts, it probably won't take many milliamps of current at all because of the internal resistance in the battery. Okay, so this battery is blowing my mind. It's it's acting like a lithium-ion battery or something. It's not, like, it's not acting like a lead-acid battery, even a brand new one. Okay, so I charged it. After about three hours of charging, it was it was down to about only pulling 100 milliamps at 13.0 volts. So I let it charge for about three days, and the voltage and it was only pulling about 30 milliamps of current. So it, it didn't really pull that many amp hours of power, maybe only 10 at most. But yet now it's at like 12.84 volts, and I mean let's do a load test. That's two and a half amps of load, so it's using 30 watts of power. The voltage is, being, is dipping down to 12.5 volts, which isn't all that bad. I mean, if it really was the, the rated 80 amp hours that, that it says it is, if it was brand new, I'd probably expect it to just stop at like 12.65 or so, but I don't know. 12.5 is okay. It's going down a lot more now. And now something that's even weirder. Okay, so... You know how batteries have a residual charge. Like for instance, if you take a battery, let's imagine this is a regular car battery, and you charge it with like 15 amps or so, and bring the voltage up to 14 volts, it'll pro and then you take off the charger, it'll jump down to 13.3 volts, and then over like an hour or so, it'll slowly go down to whatever voltage it's supposed to be. Well, if I bring up the current, so it's charging with one amp with unregulated voltage, the voltage goes up. Okay, so now it's almost at 13.7 volts. I'm going to turn off the char the power so it'll just be on its own power. And on a normal battery, it should go to 13.3, and then it'll slowly go down over the course of several hours. Let's bring the voltage down. And it stops at 12.86, or around there. I did that before, and the voltage didn't go down for another like three hours. So this thing can charge super fast. And you notice whenever I discharge it, we'll let that discharge for a little bit. Whatever voltage it goes down to, it stays at that. It doesn't jump back up like 15 point, 0.15 of a volt. It's so weird. Maybe it's just very conductive. I don't know. And it goes back up to 12.78, probably say probably 12.8 volts, if it'll even go up that. I mean, it's very weird that the voltage is not spongy at all. So, let's top off the voltage, and then we'll do a discharge test. Then, we'll charge it to like 15 or maybe 16 volts, and do another discharge test and see what is going on with this battery. So, for this first discharge test, I'll be charging it to 14.0 volts. Then when I turn off the charger, it'll probably go down to like 12.92 volts or whatever. And for the discharging, I'll be using the discharge feature on my IMAX B6 to count up exactly how many amp hours of capacity this battery has. And there we go, 14 volts. Now let's set up the discharge system. 
So we can discharge it and see how much power it has. So I have it set to PB discharge. PB is lead or plumbum, the Greek word, I think. And so we'll hit. And it's counting up the milliamp hours right here, or at least it should be. Yep, one milliamp hour already. Voltage is down to 12.76 volts. Let's see where that goes. That battery only had 1200 milliamp hours. That's super tiny, that's really dead. Only, only 1.2 amp hours of capacity. At least we might back up to 11.4 volts. Say five amps probably good. So let's try the next discharge test. The battery's at 12.87 volts. Looks like it did go down a little bit last night after all. And let's wait for the results. Well, the results are in, and it only has one amp hour. It actually has less capacity than it did before. So, I would like to have you guys' input. What do you think I should do with this? Would you want me to put Epsom salt in it? Maybe turn it to an Allen battery? Or maybe char overcharge it and blow it up? Let me know in the comment section below. Hope, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!